The Pentagon says it is sending Patriot missiles to the Middle East because of attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria. Some of those missiles will come from Fort Liberty. WRAL's Gilbert Bays explains why the air defense artillery units are being deployed quickly. Well, we know when the president dials 911, that phone call is answered here at Fort Liberty. Right now, they're asking for Patriot missiles to protect our soldiers from attacks in Iraq and Syria. This is what's headed to the Middle East from several Army posts in the United States. During a press conference, the Pentagon says it's sending Patriot and Avenger missile systems from Fort Liberty and Fort Sill in Oklahoma. We're told in addition to the missiles, 900 troops are also being sent to the region in response to more than a dozen attacks on U.S. forces last week in Iraq and Syria. While I won't talk specific deployment locations for these forces, I can confirm that they are not going to Israel. And then again, they are intended to support regional deterrence efforts and further bolster U.S. force protection capabilities. The Patriot missile system has been around since the late 1970s, but Fort Liberty didn't get theirs until 2006. It was first used in combat during the first Gulf War. The Patriot is the Army's most advanced air defense system, capable of defending both high-performance aircraft and tactical ballistic missiles. It's the only operational air defense system that can shoot down attacking missiles. This mission to the Middle East was just announced by the Pentagon a few days ago, but it's something that Fort Liberty soldiers train for every day. That's correct. We are America's Contingency Corps, the 18th Airborne Corps here at Fort Liberty, and we are always on call. Anytime the nation calls, we are ready to deploy at a moment's notice. So we know our soldiers from Fort Liberty are headed to the Middle East. The big question, how long will they be gone? And that's always the toughest part for families left behind. At Fort Liberty, Gilbert Bays, WREL News.